So what we're doing is we're going to shade in these roses. Uh, I got my gun turned way down. And I have my shading gun. So it hits a lot softer. It's got a lot longer spring. And I got it set up so it hits really soft. And I've got Bob Terrell's sculpting black in here. Because uh, he wants these roses kind of dark. And I need you to sit up, stand up. I'm going to bring you back towards me again. Alright, good. Uh, good. A little bit. There we go. And I'm using a plus two round here. I like to use a plus two when I'm shading trees. Because it kind of helps the trees to dry. I know people like black or white or black or blue. Or dark. But for me they all blend like a puzzle. And that's why I started drawing roses with a pencil and that's kind of... Hey, don't do that. <laughs> All right. So you see, I'm going to just lightly start laying in some shade. And kind of lean back a little bit. Yeah. And notice I'm using no light. Because then I'm just going to use these black roses in here. I'm just kind of picking it in with a dark shading. It's still look good, it's just a little darker. I'm just kind of throwing out light and then I'm just going to go through the circle and I'm just kind of laying in my spot. And I just go light until I have the effect that I like. Then I'll go even lighter. I like the brush strokes with the light. Then I got my Bob Terrell pen. So you really want to do this with your own pen when you're sculpting. You want to start to pull it in. And you can work fairly quickly. That's dark. That's about as dark as I'm going to go right there. Yes. I usually take a chance to lighter than that. The lighter is the trick.
Sometimes it takes a minute for the skin to settle down so you can actually see how much is in there. So I like to work my way around and then I have a chance to see all of it. I'll do a little in one area and come back and look. Come back so I can see what I've got. I like to puddle a lot of ink. In the blood. I might get a good shot of this before the phone dies if it does. So I take a look at that. You have no charger? No, my charger isn't long enough. Just in case it dies. Someone order at Jimmy John's? <laughs> I order Jimmy John's all the time. If you need all they're here right now, nah, I didn't order anything right now. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> nice. Want me to just connect it for you? Sure, there we go.
Mm -hmm. I want that on the pedal. All right. So as you can see, those are coming along splendidly. like the little stretches like the stretch part I would rather have it off like very light and those little things should be small that's better So I like that. It's good for that rose. That one rose? Yes, it bet. As you can see. Oh, yeah. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty.
That was the spot. No, it's too short. Are you on uh, rose number two right now or cell one? Oh, I'm on rose number two. Okay. My problem is I don't change my rags up. So all you people out there trying to learn from me, clean more. Hmm. Kind of a mess of tattoos. But my word speaks for itself. <laughs> no I like to stretch out the skin. That's why I don't clean so much. Because the best way to stretch out the skin is to drive every time. And then you can really get a grip on it. Stretch it. Ah, oh, don't move. Rounds make beautiful lines. Don't try to make a double manipulation of the paper towels at home. It is not for the faint of heart or the new beginner. Hmm. <laughs> I'm working on my hair out there and I can't get it done. Well, I'm getting it. 
Ask yourself these questions. Are they whatever works best for you? That's, that's what I want to know. Not how messy you are. What the end product looks like. Because if you were the best tattooist in the world but the sloppiest, nobody would care. And that's what the thing is that you bring out. Good Lord, that's a good rose. Start calling you Giorgio. Well, you know, like the old saying, if you don't want to have a heart, never have a hat. So I guess I'm a heart with a hat. Yeah, that's what he says, but I don't know if he is. Say raking your skin is not good. <laughs> no, it just actually uh, uh, very lightly. 
I don't want to put too much ink in. I want to get a nice light fade when I do it. So, plus, if I don't use a clean rag and I use a rag that's got ink in it, it actually makes it harder when I'm cutting it off. I'd much rather get it into the uh, into the bottom of the rag and not cut it off because I think it makes it a nice I feel like people using water and you're actually using the person's own blood as it comes out of the skin to kind of thin the ink out yeah. and make a fade. There's, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. It all depends on how you were taught or where you were taught. Oh, shit. I heard there was a tribe that used yak blood or some shit. Didn't they used to do tattoos like like it would be like super super painful. Like they did it like some crazy way back in the day, right? But I do it with uh, did they with it? bones a and hammer, yeah, yeah. kind of. Thing. And, uh, <laughs> when I was when I was on the Amazon, I watched one. Of my buddies got it with uh, the needles from one of the trees. <coughs> so it's a toothpick. Practical. Like it was like, uh, <laughs> but it was like the it was like hollow. Ow. Oh, oh that hurt my ankle real bad. Right. Yeah. Uh oh. But, but, Nice. Don't film that. Nice soft shading, nice and oh, soft yeah. there. Let's see if it's fresh, right? Yeah, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Yoko Party? Take a break right there. Hold still. Oh, sorry. Two fingers. That's awesome. Like
explain it. Let's see it better. 